Maybe some musicians will show up. arrangement of the Mylenburg Joy. And we're the Tomcats. Glad you all got up this morning to come and see us. Uh, half of us were out all night long playing music, so we feel your pain. Well, that was a Jelly Roll Morton composition and arranged by a, a really famous and important arranger, Don Redman, who was the arranger for Fletcher Henderson, before he moved to uh, Detroit and arranged and led the band, the McKinney Cotton Pickers, which was the band that played that arrangement. Right now we're going to play uh, a tune associated with another New Orleans, important New Orleans uh, composer and uh, band leader, King Oliver. And uh, this is his arrangement, actually the arrangement he recorded of the St. James Infirmary. 
featuring our pianist Tom Hook on the vocal. Yeah. We're going to 
play a tune that was actually recorded by a band in Harlem in the 1920s, Charlie Johnson's Paradise 10. We're going to do a couple of tunes by him uh, today. This one features Marla, Marla Dixon on the vocal. And uh, it was recorded by Charlie Johnson's Paradise 10 in 1927, the same arrangement. It's called the Paradise Wobble. to the rest of the band too. Uh, this band is a very special band. Uh, I, I started this band about three years ago because I collect music and uh, I've always wanted to be able to play the music that I collect and uh, so at the time I was returning from some extended an extended period of working in Europe and came back here trying to get started. I had some time on my hands, so I worked on this. And uh, the one thing that I wanted was I wanted a band to play this music that was completely staffed with professional musicians. 
So it's, it's not a weekend band, it's not a hobby band. It's all professionals playing this music, and all of us make our living playing music. In fact, we were, half of us were down on Frenchman Street last night working until three in the morning, so. Uh, but we're all doing this for fun, so I guess it kind of is a hobby band in a way. Uh, but it's full of great musicians. I'm gonna start down there on the end with the trombone player. That's Charlie Halloran. <laughs> Dave Boswell on second trumpet. Charlie Bardella on first trumpet. Jason Mingledorf on uh, first alto. Ray Moore on second tenor. Steve Giratano on third alto. We got Marla Dixon playing third trumpet and vocals. Matt Rohde on violin. Chris Edmonds on banjo and guitar. The great Tom Hook on piano. Benji Bohannon on drums. I'm Tom Saunders, and we're the Tomcats. Right now we're gonna play a, a really great chart for you that came out of the Jack Hilton Library. And uh, maybe you never heard of Jack Hilton, but he was kind of the Paul Whiteman of England. Uh, his, his big dance orchestra played at the Savoy in London for about 20 years. And uh, he was the biggest name in uh, dance music in England during his, his time. And uh, this arrangement came out of his library. It's his arrangement. It's a really great arrangement of a tune called Happy Feet from 1930. Nice hot dance arrangement. Uh, featuring another great vocal by Marla Dixon.
Yeah, happy feet. It's interesting because we have the arrangement too, the stock arrangement that's based on the Paul Whiteman version of this, which was used in the film The King of Jazz in 1930. But this arrangement is actually hotter than the arrangement that The King of Jazz was playing. All right, next we're going to do that other uh, Charlie Johnson tune. This one recorded in 1928. And uh, this is a fantastic band if you ever have a chance to listen, listen to old records. Charlie Johnson and his Paradise 10. Incredible band. This tune is called The Boy in the Boat. Well, 
now we're going to show our other face. Move forward a few years into the 1930s and do some, some really great hot swing music. That's right, folks. It's not Glenn Miller. Glenn Miller's beautiful, but uh, this is the hot stuff. So we're going to start this half with a tune that was recorded by Jimmy Lunsford. It was arranged for him by the great 30s swing arranger, Will Hudson. And uh, it's recorded in 1934. It's a tune called Jazznocracy. time somebody quit one of the great big bands they'd end up in this band until they found another job with another big name band but this this band was had a, had a fair, fairly big name too and uh, they made 
some wonderful recordings. Uh, this tune they recorded in 1935 is called Throwing Stones at the Sun. It was also recorded by Benny Goodman and the Joe Hames Orchestra, Throwing Stones at the Sun. Oh, the band that, that I was talking about was Willie Bryant and his orchestra. And Peggy Lee with 
the Benny Goodman Orchestra. Uh, most people don't realize it when they hear that recording that that's the Benny Goodman Orchestra backing her up because she made this song so famous. It's called Why Don't You Do Right.
Sorry, a little uh, technical difficulties here. All the sand on the on the fairgrounds, we all got it on our feet, and it's on the stage too, and it's making my bass walk all over the stage while I'm playing it. So. <laughs> Okay, another great swing tune. This tune was recorded by Louis Prima back in 1936. Tommy Dorsey in 37. Mills Blue Rhythm Band in 1936. And if you never heard of them, that's a great band. That's one to look for. Mills Blue Rhythm Band. Will Hudson recorded it himself in 1936. And Woody Herman, big band, recorded this also. It's uh, arranged by Will Hudson and it's called Mr. Ghost Goes to Town.
All right. Well, back to New Orleans. Hey, we got a chart here by this fantastic man led by Lewis Russell. Lewis Russell and his orchestra. Uh, Lewis Russell was actually born, I think, in Panama. Moved here as a young man and uh, learned his musical trade here. He was a piano player and a band leader and an arranger. And, uh, well, gee, then he went up to New York, played in King Oliver's Dixie Syncopators and really was kind of like the musical director of that band. And uh, had his own band in between also being fronted by Louis Armstrong. All those early 1930s uh, records that Louis Armstrong made, it was Louis Russell's orchestra with Louis Armstrong fronting. And it was full of New Orleans musicians like uh, Henry Red Allen, J.C. Higginbotham on trombone, Albert Nicholas, Pops Foster, Paul Barber, and all these guys are like luminaries in the jazz world were in this orchestra. So we're going to play a chart that they did that's called High Tension. High Tension. This is from 1930. Okay, yes. Going to town. Going to town, everybody. All right, well, actually, we're, we're doing pretty good on time, so we got time to play another one or two tunes for you, more than what we had planned. So, yeah. you like that, huh? Did you like that last tune? The Lewis Russell Orchestra? Hot stuff, huh? All right, we'll do another one from the Lewis Russell Orchestra. 
They recorded this one in 1931, a year later than that last one. It's going to feature a vocal by Marla, and it's called, yeah, Marla Dixon. It's called Go to Town. traditional jazz bands and swing bands and by 1935 Lunceford was doing it as a swing tune it's called four or five times
Give it up, Paul.